got it. Let's go. It's time for final day action of the Hartwell Slam. From Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina, the full field of close to 250 teams will take to the water again today in search of the best five bass limit they can catch. There you go. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> On the line today, Anglers are competing for their share of the more than $20,000 in prizes and contingencies up for grabs, as well as double points to count toward the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. New Leaders Day 2 Hartwell Slam 1651 for the weekend up to 3259. They would need just 1404 to take over the lead. New Leaders Day 2 Hartwell Slam 1592. Today's tournament action is guaranteed to be full of drama and anticipation as teams from back in the standings still have a chance to make major moves. Watch it all unfold next. Give it a boat, Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big Silly! University of Montevallo 24-96. The University of Montevallo wins its third straight title. Welcome out to Green Pond Landing in Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina for day two of the Hartwell Slam. The full field will compete again today on this famed fishery. Anglers are filled with excitement and anticipation to begin the day. We're putting in, I think we're gonna run to a first pocket down the lake. We started there yesterday, we caught a four and a five in that pocket and there's still one more four we hope in there we just gotta pray it's not in our hands anymore so it's gonna be fun entering day two of tournament competition here's a look at the leaderboard for the hartwell slam at the conclusion of weigh-in this afternoon the aca will award over twenty thousand dollars in prizes and contingencies teams will also be eligible to earn double points to count towards the bass pro shop school of the year presented by abu garcia being that this is the final ACA Double Points event of the season, teams are looking to make the most of this opportunity. It's super important in these ACA events with the Double Points to take advantage of it, and uh, we're here to take care of business. We're not here to play around and have fun. We're here to do what we need to do and take care of business. Let's go out onto Lake Hartwell now and begin our coverage with Kaysen Price and Braden Ruckman from top-ranked Carson Newman University. The day one leaders are planning to fish in one particular creek, working it for all it's worth. Eyes open and trolling motor on 20 all day long. We kind of caught them all up yesterday. We have, we have a few still on the bed, but we don't really know how big they are because they're so deep, so fingers crossed, really. I, th I really think that we're gonna lock in on one creek and just stay around there the whole day because there's fish constantly moving in and out of there and stay there all day. She's got it. Boat, babe, let's go. Yeah, I said we stop trying to kill the fish then. That's the one you want. Start off day number two. A little late, but two and a half, stop peeing. Stop That's peeing. a male. We need five of those and a five, four of those and a five pounder. I'm shaking. How was like? Awesome. With the day one leaders on the board early, let's check in on the second place pairing representing eighth ranked LSU Shreveport. We're hoping to get a good start going. We're sitting in second place. Uh, we're hoping to find a good heron spawn this morning and put them in the boat pretty quick. Yeah, like he said, we weighed in, um, I think around 1887 yesterday. We're gonna try to see if we can capitalize, capitalize on it again this morning, see if we can get some more big ones to bite. We had a couple good bites early that morning and that really worked out for us. We're gonna see if we can get some more chasing some heron. There you go. Okay.
There we go. What do we got? First one. Two pounder. We've reached our first break in the show. Coming up next. We'll check in on the third place team from 14th ranked Adrian College. Keep it tuned here for more coverage of the Hartwell Slam and Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Are you looking for more coverage and content from the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series? Subscribe to our YouTube channel for extended clips, sensational shorts, product content featuring series partners, and much more. Just scan this QR code to subscribe and stay up to date on all things college fishing. Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and day two coverage of the Hartwell Slam. We check in now on the third place team entering today from 14th ranked Adrian College. So our game plan this morning is basically run, run a couple shoals and points, looking for bait chasers. Uh, gonna be throwing a Damiki, a uh, Shishimi at them, as well as a drop shot. Um, once the sun gets up, usually around 10, 11 o'clock, um, that's when we're gonna go start looking for a big large mouth up shallow. Tiny guy. Keep a one though. Yeah, so we've we've got about three, four areas in here, including the one we just fished, this one. We've got a little shoal over there. Um, and then we got a couple things out towards the main lake. Um, as far as spot fishing, and then we've got some more spot fishing areas down by the dam, but we probably won't hit those until a little bit later today after we probably go run and hit our largemouth stuff. It's a little bit closer. So uh, right now we're kind of just trying to get five in the boat, kind of get that confidence level up and not have to worry about getting five to the stage this afternoon. So we're just kind of trying to pick a way to get to that 12, 13 pounds and uh, you know, then kind of make some decisions from there. But right now we're just trying to get the bag limit and, uh, yep, do that. Be a bass. Little guy. Another little guy. They shrunk on us, but they're keepers. From the third place team, we go back now to the day one leaders from top ranked Carson Newman University, who have spotted another bass on a bed. In the mouth, too. Smaller than I thought she was. Just two. Time is up. 940. Holy smokes, we gotta go. Put that net up, we gotta roll. That fish was like, I don't know, she she was not dead, but she was just being hard-headed, really. She was just like, like not knit, like she would miss the bait on purpose. And I'd have to like yank it just like a spoon. And when I yank it, it, it like the flappers would like flap up and she'd, and, like, she'd bite it. And that time I just timed it right and she, and she got it. If that can happen three more times, that's good, but gotta find three more. Not long after landing their second keeper, Kaysen and Braden locate another bass that looks like it might be willing to bite. Got her! It's not a four, but she's... I don't know. Look, so look, so on that fish right there, she turned on it, and then I watched her eat it. And that fish took a while. Like, what time is it? I think it's like, 1040? Just, just shy of 11. Just shy of 11? We have three. None of the right ones yet. That one's getting closer to the right ones. But two big ones, we're up there. Two Back big there, ones. right there. Two big ones. The bite on Lake Hartwell is on fire today. William and Braden from top 10 ranked LSU Shreveport were hooked up with another keeper. Come on. I, I got him in with that big. You can see. <laughs>
Tuesday. I remember throwing one on the left side, huh? It's time now for our second break in the show. When we return, the fish catching fun from Lake Hartwell continues. Don't go away. Welcome back to day two coverage of the Hartwell Slam. William and Braden from 8th ranked LSU Shreveport just filled out their limit. Filling out a limit and upgrading will be the name of the game today. That is what these anglers from 14th ranked Adrian College are hoping to accomplish. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just panning around looking for stumps, rocks, uh, brush piles, or fish chasing bait. Um, and casting my Damiki. And the key is to cast it past them and work it to them. Um, and by doing that, then I'm just twitching my rod tip uh, pretty fast, and that's letting the bait roll side to side. Feels better. Go. A little better. The more of the sides we're thinking here. Dude, right off that well, stump, first dude, cast. Yeah, that was I sick. seen a meat. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. First cast on a new spot. Old Dalty going to work this morning, switching it up. We caught one fish on a Demiki yesterday. He got what? Is that fish four? Five. five. Or no, four. Yeah, five. That's five. That's five, babe. Oh, I forgot if about I it. Adventure. Yeah, I didn't weigh that sucker. <laughs> yeah, he's first to go. After securing a limit, Dalton and Derek made the decision later in the day to move shallow in search of a kicker largemouth to upgrade their bag. Get her in the boat. That'll help. That's the one we came to fish for right there. It's not the bigger one that was there, but I guarantee you it's sitting on the same freaking bed. Probably the male. Probably the male. The conditions are setting up right late on day two for anglers to see and catch bass on beds. The day one leaders from top ranked Carson Newman are locked in on another quality fish. That's whatever one you just read. Right here, right here, right here. Right here, right here, left side. There you go. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> God, please. You're welcome. Yeah, thank the Lord. Is, is that hook in there? Yeah. No, I just took it out. It was right here. No, no, I mean like the other one. How big is that one? Three? Good three. Three pounder. We got to go. What time is it? Where's my phone at? We gotta, what time is it? Hey, it's 12 11. Took a punch to the chest right here. We're good. He just took it right to the chest. I took it like. Oh man. my God. So, feel what she did. It was, uh, it was around that log. Because you were coming over that log, she went, Yo! What? All right, find another one. You got it. Find another one. Oh, my God. You got to find another one. Yeah. Like ASAP. That'll conclude our on-the-water coverage from day two of the Hartwell Slam. After this quick break, we return back to Green Pond Landing to weigh some fish and crown a winner. Keep it tuned here.
Welcome back out to Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina for day two coverage of the Hartwell Slam. The official tournament site this week is Green Pond Landing. The facility boasts top-notch amenities for bass fishing tournaments to operate, including an amazing amphitheater for weigh-ins. The leadership of Anderson County has uh, provided us with what I like to call a Yankee Stadium of, uh, of facilities. It's one of the top five facilities in America. Um, you know, we've got you know, uh, enormous amounts of parking. We've got the most dock space on the lake. We've got the deepest launch lanes on the lake. We've got the amphitheater, which you can see here behind us. Uh, seats 13 to 1,500 people. It, it's a tremendous backdrop and, and, uh, and venue for a tournament weigh-in and to, uh, to make for the, the, the best tournament experience that you can have. This week marks the second time the ACA has contested a major college fishing event at Lake Hartwell. The host community and staff go above and beyond to ensure things run smoothly and that everyone involved has a great time. We have a, our attitude and our mindset here is find a way to say yes and, and we put a lot of emphasis on the visitor experience, whether that's the visiting organization, the visitor, the visiting angler, or the visiting spectator, parent, or family that, that's a part of that's it's such a big part of these events, and that's also sponsors and, and you know activation opportunities within the industry. We put a large emphasis on that experience. How can we make it the best experience possible, whether you're working here, you're playing here, or you're fishing here. And I think when you put all that together, you get what we have here. With the conclusion of on the water action, teams are returning back to Green Pond Landing with their day's catch to see how they stack up against this elite field of close to 250 teams. Ryan and Taven, Campbellsville, how are y'all? 16.08 on day one, we need 15.14 to take the lead. New leaders day two, Hartwell Slam, 16.51 for the weekend up to 32.59. Guys, great job. Ryan and Taven from third ranked Campbellsville University jump into first place. They bring in a limit for 16.51 pounds on day two, making their two day total weight 32.59 pounds. We had a good day. We uh, caught a bunch of three pounders and uh, we had uh, almost four pound spot, so that pushed us up to 16 and a half. Nick and Easton from Montevallo, 1856 yesterday. They would need just 1404 to take over the lead. New leaders day two, Hartwell Slam 1592 takes all up to 3448. With a two day total weight of 34.48 pounds, Nick and Easton from second ranked University of Montevallo win the Hartwell Slam. Ryan and Taven from third ranked Campbellsville take second, and Nick and Quaid with 14th ranked Adrian College finish in third. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10. Came out on top. They say most of your wins will come at the least expected times, and that's the case this week. Uh, like we said earlier, riding in, we said we were one fish away, and we were kind of kicking ourselves like, man, what could we want, what could we have done different, that sort of thing. But to come out on top is definitely a great feeling against this group of anglers out here. Just grinding hard, getting after it um, all day, constantly fishing hard. Definitely a big thing. Um, a lot of our fish both days kind of came totally unexpectedly when, when we were just kind of fishing along. Uh, both of our big ones were schooling fish right next to the boat. You'd never expect it kind of a thing. So just constantly grinding, getting after it. Uh, that's definitely the key to our past couple days. For their victory at the no entry fee Hartwell Slam, Nick and Easton earn over $3,500 in prizes and contingencies as well as 1,750 points towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Yeah, this is a big one. Um, this is a double point event. Uh, these events are always circled on the calendar. Um, the, you know, the, the first goal of the year, the first thing that we always talk about at our meetings is winning School of the Year. That's the main goal of the team. That's what we're all striving for. That's what we're out here fishing for is that School of the Year title at the end of the year. And these double point events are huge. Um, so to be able to pull it off, to pull off the win, and then uh, I think we ended up having another guy in somewhere in the 15 or 20th, somewhere in top 20, um, which again, that's, that's big for the school of the year race. We're in second right now to Carson, Carson Newman, I think by around 400 points, I wanna say, which is, is tight, and there's a lot of guys behind us. Uh, it's a tight race, it always is every year, it seems like, and I think this year it's gonna be especially tight with the way that the schedule's lined up and the way everyone's fishing. Uh, Carson Newman's killing it, third, fourth, fifth, everybody's fishing crazy hard. They all want that school of the year title. So uh, we got a lot more room to go, but this is a good start to, uh, or a, you know, a good stepping stone to get into that fourth school of the year title. 
And here's a look at the standings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia following the Hartwell Slam. Carson Newman University earns the most points of any team competing at Lake Hartwell, which allows them to extend their lead ever so slightly. Montevallo remains close behind in second, and Campbellsville University holds on to third. And with that, we'll conclude coverage of the Hartwell Slam. A special thanks to all of our ACA Series partners, as well as the fine team at Visit Anderson for their hospitality and help in putting on this great event. And thank you for watching this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. We'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.